Hey Warriors, welcome back to my channel. And if you are a new warrior, welcome. I'm Raven and I'll be taking you all with me on my journey to conquering rheumatoid arthritis. Before we get into this video, pause it, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you all will be notified every time that I upload. I do upload new videos every Thursday. So it's common to make assumptions based on the name of the illness alone, rheumatoid arthritis. Since being diagnosed, I've heard a lot of crazy things that are untrue. So today I'm going to clear up five misconceptions about rheumatoid arthritis. arthritis so I'm not gonna look at you all crazy because honestly I thought the same thing I was 20 when I first found out I had arthritis but I, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis at the age of 21 I am now 28 rheumatoid arthritis affects people of all ages however women are two to three times likely to be diagnosed than men the second one is you can get rheumatoid arthritis by cracking your knuckles. Nope, not true either. I don't crack my knuckles, never have, and was still diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. Honestly, that sound, it, that sound makes my skin crawl. <laughs> Study shows that there is no evidence to suggest cracking knuckles causes or worsens, worsens arthritis. Cracking your knuckles may lead to reduced grip strength, and there have been some reports of tendon injuries in this location. The third one is osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis are the same thing. Not true. They both affect joints and are painful. Osteoarthritis is the most common form of arthritis. This arthritis affects older people. This arthritis occurs over time. It's wear and tear on the joints, whereas rheumatoid arthritis, which is what I have, is an autoimmune disease in which the body's immune system attacks its own healthy joints instead of bad bacteria and viruses. The fourth one is rheumatoid arthritis only affects the joints. Also not true. Rheumatoid arthritis can affect the hearts, the lungs, the kidneys, and blood vessels throughout the body. This is extremely important to know because you need to treat the disease to limit the damage and health problems related to rheumatoid arthritis, even if you are in remission and not experiencing any pain. A lot of the medication we take can also harm our organs, so we have to constantly take blood tests to make sure our organs are function, functioning properly. And the last one, number five, exercising is bad for rheumatoid arthritis. This is also not true. Exercising is something that should be mandatory for everyone with rheumatoid arthritis. You might not be able to do workouts that are hard on your joints like running, because I sure can't run. But low impact options such as swimming, cycling, walking for 20 minutes a day, and yoga can improve your symptoms. So those were five myths about rheumatoid arthritis that you should ignore. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.